We are facing a dark time right now. Some of us are stuck at home. Some are stuck far away from home. Some of us have lost their jobs, and some have to shut down their businesses. Some of us are cutting down the expenses, and some can't even pay their rent and bills. Some can go back to school, and some can go back to their jobs. And some of us are still working day and night, no matter how exhausted they are, or how dangerous it is. Some of us have become infected, and they were isolated from their families, their loved ones, and have to be alone in the walls. Or even worse, it is their children, their parents, or loved ones that are infected, and they don't even have a chance to say goodbye. The virus is rampaging. The numbers are increasing. The rumors are spreading. The fear is growing. It seems that all of a sudden, the whole country lost its vitality and prosperity. You're not the only one who is worrying. You're not the only one who is fearing. You're not the only one who is struggling. We are all facing a dark time right now. Our country is facing a dark time right now. This is a wall. It's a wall without guns, bombs, or smoke. But it's a wall with virus, doubts, fears, rumors, and discriminations. But we shall all be the fighters, my dear fellows. Not just the doctors, the nurses, the policemen, the scientists who should fight. All of us should be the fighters in this wall. We should fight against fear. We should fight against uncertainty. We should fight against doubts. We should fight against selfishness. We should fight against rumors, and we should fight against discriminations. This is going to be a fierce and cruel wall, but don't be afraid. We're going to win this wall together. In the end, our people may get sick, our city may get sick, but we. As a brief nation, we never, ever get sick, because we have the spirit, the history, and determination to win. We've been on this planet for over five thousand years. We've witnessed much darker moments. We've been through much crueler trials. No matter it's the wall, invasion, starvation, poverty, or natural disasters, we've always survived, and we've always stood back up on our feet. We've always won in the end, and we'll definitely win this time. We don't know how long this will take, or what cost we have to pay, but there's one thing we're 100% sure, and that is, we're going to win this wall in the end. It is only by going through dark times that we can separate the greatest from the great. In each dark time, we've always fought together, no matter how strong our enemy was or how impossible it seemed to win. We just keep fighting because we are all fighters. When all of this is over, we'll have another great and heroic story to tell our children. Our grandchildren, and they will tell the next generations, and that's how we'll pass the great spirit on, and keep it alive forever.